Okay, welcome to part three, and we are currently in the middle of rotoscoping. Now, I forgot to point out, which is a bit late, but I might as well say it. I will give you the footage and the muzzle flash image, and that's all you'll need. And also include these, the smoke movie if you can't render it or you can't be bothered. That's optional. But I will show you how to render your own smoke. Anyway, so as you can see, I've finished rotoscoping here. And as you can see, it, it tracks fairly nicely to the face, but I've only roughly done it. It's not many keyframes. But uh, as a, the main reason why we have to rotoscope the face is because of the shaky camera footage. Um, if it was on a tripod, it wouldn't have to have moved it as much, because my face doesn't move. wouldn't have moved that much. Well, it wouldn't have moved, because it was on a tripod. Anyway, what am I saying? So, we rotoscoped the face, and that looks pretty good. And we'll leave that for now. And there's the mat, the white mat. And I'll, I'll, expl I'll, I'll explain now why we need to make it white. Because what we will, what we will do is we'll. This will be a a factor into the RGB curves in the compositor, and we'll have the background, the world, the horizon color to be black. So we'll do that now. So go into the world tab, and make the horizon color black. So when you render this out you'll have a white, the white area and a black background and that will isolate the uh, lighting effect oops we don't want to go into positive yet the lighting effect to this area so once we rotoscope the rest of the body and the arms and the hands we will have a, a, the effect of um, a white black ground, background with all these wa uh, white blobs everywhere but essentially they will be the areas that will isolate that they isolate the area we want the lighting to be effect to affect. So anyway, uh, with the face done, play that back. Hit Alt A. Oh, it's on wireframe. It's lagging for some reason. Oh, we will scrub through. And uh, you can track very well. But next, we need to rotate maybe the arm. I don't know maybe the hand. A bit of the shirt as well. So uh, again, hit. Uh, shift A and add another circle and we can call this one arm and we can put that oops scale that on the Y oh and for some reason after you add a second circle it shows the normals it displays the normals but you can turn that off if you hit N and just turn the normals off it's a bit annoying and then we kind of just Oops, frame one that might help. Uh, if we just position this again, like we did with the face, it's just gonna take. It takes a while, but you get used to it. So again, rotoscope the face. I mean, face arm. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be loud on the microphone. Sorry there. And you have to do repeat the same process with the face. And I'm going to stop in a sec. So I'm going to finish the hand and the body. So again, if you're going to uh, do the uh, hand and the body, again, make a se separate circle for the body. And a separate circle, not, not a curve, a uh, circle for the hand. And again, just rotoscope a bit around the body here, and the way you would do that is, you know, I'll just show you the beginning shapes here of kind of how I did it. Just pull that one around, and basically you want to have this side, kind of this side of my, sh my shirt being affected by light, by the lighting coming from the gun. So that's kind of the shape you want for the first frame and just carry on keyframing that. And for the hands, this is the kind of the one I rushed because the hands actually moved the most in the entire, in all the footage. So for this one, you can you want to try and do as best as you can to keep, keep the, uh, the circle around the hands as best as you can. Don't you I mean you can add more, you can subdivide the circle but it means you have more handles to control and if you want to do a better job I suggest subdividing 
but it's it's going to take a bit longer. Actually, I'm probably going to subdivide, stuff it. <laughs> but oh yeah, make, if you're going to subdivide, make sure you do it first. Don't subdivide later, as I think it's prone to errors. I've heard, so make sure you subdivide first before you start rotoscoping with more handles. Uh, I'll probably just do that. That looks pretty good. So yeah, they're the beginning shapes you'll need for the next part of rotoscoping. So we've got hand, arm, and body. So, oops, need to give them the white mat. I could probably fix that one a bit. Doesn't look very good. And just to give you an idea of what they will look like, there you can see our blobs on the black back, back black background. So hope you've enjoyed that. So again, what you'll have to do for the next part, make sure you rotoscope the arm, the hand, and the body. And once you've done that, you can come back for part four.